My name is Matt, and Acquia U uh, opened a very large door to a whole new career. My name is Colin Packham, and Acquia U made me happy again. That is a, a that's a pretty good cost benefit ratio, right? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. Deal. Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast: Drupal Technology, Community, and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community, and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. Coming to you live from Acquia headquarters, now downtown Boston, which is kind of an exciting change around here, I am talking with a very recent uh, graduate, can we say that? from Acquia U, which is our Drupal intensive training program where we um, bring in people from all sorts of different backgrounds and um, make them into great Drupalists for hire um, at Acquia and around the Drupal service provider community, I'd say. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell us something about your background. All right. Um, hi, my name is Matt Dooley. I'm a developer here at Acquia in the uh, professional services department. We're talking about Acquia U. Yep. You are a recent successful graduate yes, of the program. Why don't you introduce yourself to us and tell us something about you? Okay. Um, I am Colin Packenham. I was part of the second generation of Acquia U. I was actually the youngest of all of Acquia U by several months and then eight years. So that was definitely a thing. I actually studied industrial design before I came here. So a lot of what I did was much more hands-on, very physical, um, more building tables and computer cases and lots of engineering before I came to Acquia, before I came to Acquia and sort of made the transition into the web development world. Um, and my background is in graphic design. Um, I went to school here in Boston and ended up working at a local chain of garden centers as their graphic designer and um, that role developed into a more web related kind of job and that's how I got introduced to Drupal. So had you heard of Drupal before you'd heard of Acquia U? Actually yes, but I hadn't heard of Acquia yet. Um, I was actually fairly large into the open source community, but the open source community for industrial design is very different than it is for web design. So uh, I actually heard about it through people who did a lot of the MakerBot things. Lots of 3D printing, lots of still, lots of digital work, but all of it local and much more thing oriented rather than service or experience oriented or directly experience-oriented, I should say. Somebody will slap me if I say <coughs> industrial design is an experience-oriented. But um, I actually heard about this because my sister works here at Acquia, downstairs, and she referred to me to the program and to Amy Parker. Uh, beforehand, I found out about Acquia U, and then that's when I applied. So what's your first Drupal memory? First Drupal memory? Um... I don't know about my first memory, but I have plenty of Drupal nightmares of uh, setting up sites and crashing them, uh, you know, just not knowing what I was doing initially, um, and not knowing uh, the Drupal way of, of building sites. Um, so trial by fire. Definitely, yeah. That's a pretty classic way of learning. Yeah. <laughs> what made you stick with Drupal, though? Um, I, I knew there was... Uh, potential. Like I, I knew that I, that the problem was me. It wasn't the software. Um, Thank so, you. <laughs> sure. uh, so I just knew. I just knew that I needed to stick with it. I mean, I, you know, had been able to see examples of how, it, you know, how it was supposed to work, um, and just need to get myself up to speed. What were your expectations going into Acquia U, and and how did you feel when you knew you'd been accepted? Um, I do know how I felt when I accepted, which was vaguely numb and extremely excited. Because uh, I was kind of, I was in a job beforehand that didn't have any growth, and 
it was very comfortable and very stable, and I was very good at it. But it wasn't something that was engaging me at that point. I had stopped learning, and that was something that I was very interested in for my career. Just being able to do more, to learn more, to experience more, to be challenged more, rather than just sort of the day-to-day, -day, finish my work, go home. Um, so getting into Aqua U was, I thought, one of the best possible steps I could have taken at that stage of my career. What were your expectations going into the program, and um, how did you feel when you were accepted? Uh, expectations were pretty well laid out by Amy ahead of time. You know, she had an initial call with me uh, saying, you know, don't expect a job, uh, don't expect to work, you know, sit next to Dries and become buddies. Um, when I found out that I was accepted, I was um, crazy excited. I, uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I didn't know what the acceptance, you know, what the level of competition was. Um, so I was surprised, um, excited, and uh, yeah. To be fair though, given the amount of Drupal going on, uh, one in 40 sites on the internet runs Drupal now, and the sort of, I don't know if it's famous, but the general talent shortage in the Drupal, per perceived talent shortage in the Drupal space, I think that uh, whether or not this program could offer, promise you a job, um, I think it gives you incredible potential to walk out the door and, and have some kind of great job pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, and that's definitely something I knew if, even if I wasn't guaranteed a job at Acquia, I, I knew that just going through this training was going to be a step to something else. Right, so Acquia, you could easily be considered a career booster. Definitely, yeah. So, <laughs> so how was it? Acquia, you? Yeah. Uh, overwhelming at first, and then amazing. <laughs> um, a lot of it was, I came from a company that was five regular employees and then 15 or so temps to Acquia, which was just overwhelming. There were so many people all the time. Um, thankfully, due to the nature of it, how everyone was brought into Acquia U, we were all sort of overwhelmed together and we were able to bond and then sort of ex grow out and experience the rest of the company. And then Acquia is just such a collaborative, is that the right word? Such a collaborative arena where you can talk to anybody about more or less anything, and you'll get an answer or a redirection to somebody who does know the answer, uh, and that helped immensely. It just it made it such a welcoming place and a place where, oh, you don't know the answer? Here, we'll help you learn the answer, and then you can tell somebody else who also doesn't know it. Great. It so. sounds like a, a sort of a, a, a thumbnail sketch of open source, too. More or less, yeah. It's... Um, it still feels like a startup where everyone is sort of wearing several hats at any one time. And it's a feeling that I really enjoy, even though Acqui is really big now, and I didn't notice that until we came to this new office. Yeah, we're kind of a, you know, we're a big, we're a really big small company, or yeah. we're a really, really small big company now. It's hard, to, it's hard to know what we are. But definitely not a medium company. You got in. You got in. How was it? It was awesome. It was way better than I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, day one was what is Drupal, and then day two was like, here's how you build the module. <laughs> no, um, it, it, yeah, no, it was uh, it was it was fast paced, but it was it was great. We had an awesome instructor, um, awesome you know group of people that were in the program with me, um, and you know, awesome resources within the company itself. Run us through a day at the at Aqua U. Uh, most of the days were. Um, from about nine to lunchish, um, straight up classroom training um, with the instructor, going over whatever the topic was for the day, um, and then we had typically had lab hours in the um, afternoons where we work on our um, personal sites or the Aqui website, um, or um, sometimes we'd have some assignments that we would kind of try to complete if we're in need of extra help somewhere. Run us through a day at Acquia U. The average day at Acquia U, there's two big average days. During the beginning, we did a lot of study under Mike Anello, who runs the Drupal Easy program out of Florida and online. Um, 
he was a big believer in actually having us learn for ourselves after he gave the explanation. So it was two or three hours of going through well taught out, like sort of a lecture setting. And then we would almost be brought off the range to learn more things. So we would spend the day learning about views in Drupal. And then the rest of the day, we'd be doing things on Drupal with views. And we'd sort of be experimenting for ourselves. We would, um, usually we would end up having one of the different, one of the various UBs do some sort of presentation on it. And then everyone would learn from each other rather than just straight through mic. Uh, the other average day was more during the second half, which is when we were actually building the u.acre site, the current Acre website that people would be applying through now. <laughs> and it was less lecture at that point and more everyone was working together as a team to produce this neat website together. And well, there was bumps because there's bumps in every project. We learned how to work together as a team. We learned how to reach out to other people. And now you work at Acquia PS. What's what? What do you do? Um, right now, I am a developer. So um, you know, I'm working with teams, um, one ticket at a time. Cool. So, so what are you doing now? And and what do you think Acquia you did for your career prospects? Um, right now, I'm working as a support coordinator. So. Are you on the support wake up calls? I am. So the tickets in Acquia, the hard ones that take a while to fix, they if they start in Europe, six hours. Uh, so Europe starts at nine in the morning, Central European time, yep. uh, which is eight o'clock in the UK. Six hours later, at nine a.m. Eastern. There's a handoff to the East Coast team, although they still work a little bit. Yes. And then uh, three hours later or so, there's four a hand hours. four Usually hours later. Four hours. There's a handoff to Portland. And if yep. they have to hand off, then they hand off to Australia, Which will then who works through, through, through the night yep. for the, night. <laughs> the perspective of people everywhere else, and then they hand off back to Europe, right? Mm -hmm. So you're part of that yep. movement. So, there is tickets that are heard around the world, to say the least. <laughs> the ticket that was heard around the world. What's the most important thing you got out of Um, Hmm. I, surprisingly, I think it's not Drupal related. I think it's more um, being able to work with a team better. Um, you know, understanding different roles, responsibilities, and you know um, how how to function as a team, as a member of a team better. I've heard that from a bunch of people. That seems really? to be a really key um, a key unspoken factor in succeeding as a developer, going from, hey, I know how to code, to actually 30, 40, 20 people are working together to create something much more complex. Yeah. What's the most important thing you got out of Acquia U? Um, a lot of things. Uh, I mentioned earlier that I was the youngest, so I never actually worked in a situation like this before. I was always very lone wolfy at a lot of other things. Uh, college encourages sort of the mindset that you're going to work on your own, you have to depend on yourself. Coming to Acquia, I think the biggest thing was how great it, how much better teams can be when everyone's working together. Uh, I refer to this a lot of support. They won't say it in these words usually, but they'll say something to the effect of it's lightning in a bottle almost. How the team will come together and do far more than they probably should be able to, given the individuals. And this is another really powerful open source. Yes. Um, part of the open source practice. Exactly. It's people are better when they work together than they are separately. You'll have one genius person, and then you get somebody who works very well with that genius person, and then so they have three times the output of amazing work. It's no person's an island basically, and learning how to work with other people made life a lot better. A lot more fun and a lot better. What is one piece of advice that you would give someone looking for a new career? Um, just start. Um, you know, if, it doesn't matter where. Uh, I know for me, like, I had for a long time, you know, thought about switching careers. I mean, from a design-based kind of career to, um, you know, a more technical uh, web kind of development-based career, and 
I just I kind of dragged my feet on it for a while, and so just to you know just to start, just mm. to take the first step, whatever it is. What piece of advice would you give people looking for a new career? Um, don't be afraid to change. I definitely came from designing computer cases to doing a lot more things in Drupal. And you would be surprised how much of the mindset will apply from one thing to another, even though what you're actually doing is completely different. Would you re recommend Acquia U to others? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> would you recommend Acquia U to others? I definitely would. <laughs> All right, look in the camera and, and give Acquia U a shameless plug. <laughs> All right, well, um, yeah, if you're thinking about coming to, to Acquia for Acquia, Acquia U, um, do it. Just sign up today. Acquia U, you will learn far more than just Drupal. And you'll be. Thank you, man. That's great. Thank you. Thanks for talking to me. Hey, thank you for no taking problem. the time to talk with me. I'm so okay. Um, Thanks, Colin. Yep. Thank you. What? I thought you were gonna have your squid. Oh no, I was just I was showing Doris that because somebody else in our company has the same exact squid plush that I brought in. Okay. And we didn't know this, so now we had squid twins or squins. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So This is starting well. Late <laughs> <laughs> Late afternoon at Aquia headquarters in Boston.